Hey everyone, I'm Super Dazza. And I'm Pearly. And welcome to another episode of Smite Community Concepts. For this concept, is an army would be made of only frames and wires, and look kind of like the end of Terminator. She would have some pulleys and gears, rusted joints, and in some places there would be sparks flying and oil leaking. Her movements would be jerky, her basic attacks would be replaced by claws on pulleys, and her voice would be very robotic but frazzled. For Sickle Storm, her first ability, she would shoot oil-covered metal scraps for her basic attacks. For her second ability, Spectral Projection, electrical sparks would fly forwards. For Fade Away, her third ability, is an army would sink into a pool of oil. And for her ultimate, Dark Portal, oil would appear at the target location, and electricity would fly upwards. This concept would be inspired by Armored Dragon Knights in various Japanese RPGs. Oelix would look like she does in Franco's art. She would wear blue dragon armor, featuring lots of spikes, and a helmet that looks like a dragon head. She would also have red hair, and her spear would be blue at the handle end, red at the sharp end, and it would have what looks like wings on the sharp end. Suku would be an armored land dragon, with armor that matches the armor on a Wheelix. When her passive is active, her spear would glow bright red, and her voice would be tough and gruff like a veteran soldier. For her first ability, summon Suku, a Wheelix would hop on Suku, the armored land dragon. For Feather Step, her second ability, a Wheelix would fly over the enemy and stab with her spear. The effect on the ground would be replaced with a rind of red flames. For Moonlight Charge, her third ability, Suku's new dragon form would fly out in a line and it would be colored like fire instead of the usual purple. When the ability knocks up an enemy, a spectral Suku dragon would lift the god up into the air. And for her ultimate, Gravity Surge, a red glow would surround the Wheelix and would reveal a circular emblem of a dragon head on the floor underneath her. The head on the floor would slowly close its jaws, and the jaws would fully close at the end of the duration of the ability. If a god is in the air, a Wheelix would toss her spear at that god, and they would be pulled in front of a Wheelix. And for the final concept of the episode, this art was submitted by Devisor, which was used by our artist to make his art. Sylvanas would look like a classic old golfer, wearing a kilt, a coat, and a flat cap. Grover would have a grass and earth look to him, featuring a tee off area, a golf green, and a flag. For his basic attacks, Sylvanas would pitch golf balls off of Grover's shoulder area, and his voice would sound like an old Scotsman's voice. For Verdant Growth, his first ability, Sylvanas would throw a golf tee at the target location, which would sprout into a flag, and the AoE would look like a golf green. For his second ability, Wisps, he would resupply his allies with golf balls, while pegging his enemies with them. For Nature's Grasp, his third ability, Grover would reach out with an extendable ball grabber. And for his ultimate, Wrath of Terror, the earth would erupt with sand, roots, and cattails. And that's all for this episode, thanks for watching. The winner of last episode was Mirror Mirror Discordia by King Quaxter. Click the card on screen to go watch that episode. You can also vote for your favourite from this episode by clicking the little I in the top right corner of the video. Subscribe for more, like if you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.